Give me a sec while I fix all of this. No! with Celos. I'm your host, Celos, and I didn't really have a topic to talk about other than life, maybe a life update. At the making of this video, I am currently sitting in Miami. I don't know if this is the heart of Miami or west of Miami, but this is the Brickle, I think, Br Brickle, Brickle, however you pronounce it, and it's kind of a nice spot. It's chill. It's fairly luxurious in the sense of high rise and lots of livelihood and compared to Chicago it's brighter best way I can describe it it's not it doesn't feel as heavy it doesn't seem so daunting almost or like stressful to be in it seems a lot more lively a lot less stress a lot more ambition uh, just the other night my buddy Donish and I, we went out walking on the street looking for some places to eat, uh, particularly a grocery store so we can cook stuff, but everything was closed because it was late. And there's just so many people, so many young people, so many attractive women even that were just walking around and trying to find all these things and do all these things. And we talked to a few people. Um, one guy, I think his name was John, really cool guy um, there was this one photographer we talked to there was this one homeless guy that we ended up talking to he, his name was David shout out David um, and just every everybody was just more inviting it was more encouraging it made me want to have conversation even more granted I'll have conversation any anywhere at any time because that's just who I've become thank God man I am sweating already <laughs> but it's just so lively. And the scene, I have never seen so many Lamborghinis in my life, <laughs> man. Guaranteed, last night I saw maybe like 15 total, just in a span of a few hours of being here. And I saw one Rolls Royce, beautiful, beautiful. Rolls Royce Ghost, I think it was, beautiful. Anyways, back to the, Unofficial topic. <clears throat> it's interesting to see just how different it is from one big city to another big city. Chicago, Miami. And apparently Miami just started blowing up, like building up per se, within the last like three to five years, something of the sort. And you wouldn't even think that. Like, there's a building right across from where we're staying that is in the process of being built. And I saw the construction workers building it earlier in the day, working on it, not building it, working on it. And it's like, there's still a lot more to come. And this was something that I thought of yesterday. Uh, the fact that there is so much poverty and homelessness, when there are so many great things happening, when so many things are booming, it's almost very heartbreaking. And being somebody that's, being somebody that's on this journey of helping people, building people up, having, helping people strive for better, knowing that I can't help or save everyone is, heartbreaking, almost burdensome, yet that's not something that necessarily weighs on me. At the end of the day, those that are willing will, and those that are not won't. So it's, it's always heartbreaking to see homeless people, poor people, 
broke people just living on the streets, sleeping on the streets, asking for money. And although it's, I, I do believe it's good and it's kind and it's worthwhile to give to the less fortunate, to give to those that are struggling, to give to those that are hungry and thirsty and all these things. I also strongly believe that it isn't my job to. It's not up to me to do it. If you're not capable of doing it to, for yourself, then why, why expect somebody else to do it? And that's not to say that I completely disregard their current circumstance. I've been in that position before, or similar to it. I know what it's like to struggle, especially financially more than anything. I know what it's like to live in a car, sleep in a car. Granted, it was maybe for like a day or two that I did. And yet, when you make it personal enough to where you refuse to let it happen again, or you refuse to stay in that moment, things change. Your life changes when you make up your mind to not be in that position. When you make up your mind to get out, to get out of that hardship. And ultimately, like without beating around the bush, in this day and age, when everyone has access to the internet, and you're still broke, you're still barely getting by, you're choosing to keep yourself there. You're choosing to stay within those circumstances, stay within those limits. And I've heard it all before, and I've even thought of it myself. You don't understand. My circumstance is different. I don't have this. I don't have that. You probably had this, or you came from this. Cut the BS. That's not true. You don't know me. I don't know you. And that doesn't change. But yet the principles are the same. Change your mind, change your life. You maybe didn't have rich parents. You didn't have money in the bank. You didn't have a role model. Neither did I. I'm not gonna sit here and say that everything's perfect. I'm struggling right now too. But I'm not staying it in that struggle. I'm learning, I'm making the most of everything. In fact, recording this, talking to you through a camera is me taking action on a thought, on an idea, on an opportunity to change my life. Will this video reach hundreds of thousands of millions of people? Probably not. Will it reach a few hundred? hundred percent. Will it reach a few thousand? Maybe. Lord willing. At the end of the day, I made up my mind that I was going to not stay in my same circumstance. I wasn't gonna let it happen again to the extent that it was. Then I'm gonna keep learning, keep pushing, keep striving for better. That no matter what, I will take opportunities that are ahead of me. Take opportunities that are in front of me as the Lord brings it to be. And I've come so far with that mentality. I've come so far with that little shift in thinking. For you to say it's not gonna work for you, how are you gonna know? Unless you try. And here's the thing, and I've heard this from a great wise bald man with sunglasses. If you truly tried, if you truly gave it your all, you wouldn't fail. If you do something and you stop doing it because you didn't, it didn't, you didn't bring the results, it didn't bring the expectation that you wanted. It didn't do all these things. And you have the audacity to say, I tried. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to the person you're telling this to. You're lying to God. Because if you truly did try, you wouldn't fail. If you truly gave it your all, you wouldn't quit. If you truly wanted to get out of the low point and valley that you're in, there would be no failing. There would be no, I tried, or it didn't work. You make it work. I promise I'm sweating, I'm not crying. If I am crying, it's because of passion, not of sadness. 
I have to have that hard conversation with myself. You may have to have that hard conversation with yourself. If you're blessed, somebody's had that conversation with you. If you're even more blessed, you're watching this and you're agreeing with the things that I'm saying, sharing it with the people that you think would agree with it or that you think it would help. Either way, I'm just filming this because it was on my heart and it was on my mind. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to take this and make it personal. Take this and make it deep. I'm in the heart of Miami and I'm struggling financially. I got all these dreams and goals, but I'm struggling prospectively or clientele I don't know what the word would be. Basically, little to no money coming in. Little to no clients coming in. Little to no results on whether or not my impact or my purpose, my words, are actually impacting people the way I wanted to or the way that it needs to. But one thing I do know, I don't know if this siren is Goofy. It's Miami for you. Give it a few seconds again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright. What, what was I saying? So, I haven't gotten the mass results that many other people get when they post things or bring value or make an impact. You know, money, cars, girls, following, virality. I haven't had any of that. I've had a few pieces here and there do very well. But the one thing that I hold on to personally is the fact that if I hadn't picked up the camera and Matter of fact, let's take it back even further. If I hadn't made up my mind that I wanted to do something specific, that I wanted to be someone specific, I wouldn't be sitting here today talking to you. I wouldn't be sitting here in a location that I've never thought about going to. I wouldn't be sitting here and being able to say that I have had good amount of people tell me that my content or the things that I've shared, the content that I've shared, whether it's mine or somebody else's, has changed their life, has positively impacted their life. In fact, a lot of it's even strengthened or pushed people towards even thinking about God, believing in God craziest part giving their life to Christ I'm one of the most imperfect people there is I'm not ever gonna say that I don't sin I'm not gonna say that I don't stumble I'm not gonna say that I don't fall I'm not gonna say that I don't offend God I I probably do a lot of that stuff even when I think I don't I definitely do because I'm human I'm imperfect but yet I choose to continue going. I choose to keep fighting. I choose to keep pursuing, to keep striving for better, to be better, to do better, so then I can live better. But not only that, I can help others do the same. And so if you're sitting there watching this video, and this is maybe fifth video you've watched so far, sixth, tenth video in a row in your day, in your YouTube clicking or whatever doom scrolling whatever video this is that you're watching it's your sign to get up and start getting to work start making that life that you want come to fruition pray and talk to God that he guide you where it is you need to go because that's ultimately what's going to bring you the best reward is going to bring the most fulfilling reward 
you can do shady stuff and you get shady money. You could do purposeful stuff and you get pur purposeful money. And that purposeful money is always going to have something to go to. Is always going to be used intentionally and thus bring back intentional reward. The world is just cause and effect, baby. If you don't know that, you're missing out on a lot. When you tap into the one true source, the one true source gives back tenfold. And I'm not saying this because it's all about taking or getting. It's just knowing that what you give is what you get, but what you get is always ten times greater the return. So if you're struggling now, that's part of the process. Push through it. All the cliche sayings of sun always shines after the storm or grass is greener where you water it. I don't know, all those cheesy cliche sayings pretty much talking about how when you push through adversity, glory comes through. I kind of made that one up. That's a good one. I think I'm going to tweet it. So that way nobody's, this is the wrong phone for that. What'd I even say? I had something about adversity. Oh, got it. When you push past adversity, glory shines through. Got it. All right, done. Anyways, <laughs> oh, I promise I'm not crying. I've been in a similar position as you have. Not exactly, but similar. Who has loudspeakers like that? I think it's the people under me. That's fine. We're still good, baby. Um, but I've been where you've been. Similarly. Not exactly. Someday, it'll be fully known. Someday, I'll let it be known. I struggled a lot. I'm not where I want to be yet. But I'm getting to a point where everything's going to fall into place. And I'm going to be well taken care of. So I encourage you, give it your best shot, give it your all. If it didn't work out, you didn't try enough. Remember to be better, do better, live better. Keep trying for better. I'll see you in the next one. God bless. Peace out. Take care. It is hot as bullocks. I don't even know what bullocks is butt, isn't it?